What's up world, I'm Julian and today I'm going to be doing a semi full review of my Royal Sovereign FS500 coin sorter. I purchased this machine back early summer, maybe six, seven months ago, but I never got around to actually doing a full review on it because I've been 100% lazy doing Von Rat videos. So in this, so I purchased this off of Amazon, came in a couple days, and I sorted first a shoebox I had that was filled with coins. So now I'm going to sort out this, and I have a lot of coin bundles right here, and I want to give my review of working with this machine this is my third time turning on. So this is my third time review of the machine. So yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, it works. It does its job, but I want to see how accurate it is because I never really actually counted each individual slot to see if there was exactly, you know, 50 cents there, $2 there. I never looked into it that deep. So I'm going to do now is uh, just pretty much get a cup full of coins, dump it in there like I did in the intro, but this time I'm going to continuously dump in more coins. So first, I'm going to turn it back on. I'm just going to get these coins. All these are quarters, so they should go right back in there. Sort that. Oh, you see? I dumped in an entire... There wasn't that many quarters in a jam on it. But see, it will keep going back and forth. And occasionally it will... See, now it got rid of jam and put back in. But sometimes it does not work well with those jams. So this only has, I'm just going to say, eight or nine. I'm going to dump those in there. No jams at all. So now these pennies, I'm sure I'm going to miss it if I'm dropping it here. So I'm going to first dump it in my little sorting cup. And this is about 50 cents, I haven't counted it, but this is about 50 cents a coin. So I'm going to dump in here all at once. And we'll see if it gets changed. It's perfect. It did not jam on the pennies. So a lot of times when I'm working, I'm just going to turn that off. A lot of times when I'm working with this, if you just get an entire bucket and dump it in there, it will start to jam as it's sorting through different denominations. So what I'm going to do now is another quick test that I was doing before is I'm just going to get a generous pour from here and dump it all inside and see what it does. I'm going to start and say just a generous pour. I know these are going to overflow into here and I will show you the next thing I realized about this coin sort. Right now it's going back and forth and it's going to get the jam. But sometimes it can do the jam itself and sometimes it exists. You see now, the penny slot's filled so it's going to go into overflow. Which is cool. You see now it's working through another jam and it put that out so that's awesome. So we're going to let these finish out and I will take it out and show. Okay, power off. So now all the coins are down in here. I know I, this is about 50 cents, give or take, of pennies. So what I'm gonna do is take all these pennies and put them on a little jar here and just keep them out. But the one thing about the scooper down here is that I really can't show it on camera, but it's pretty much a right angle edge inside here. So it's kind of hard to scoop the coins up. Unless there's another technique that I have yet to find. But it's it's very slow because even right here, like these pennies, I'm trying to pick it up, but it's a right angle. So if it would that would have been a scoop, that would have been a lot better to work off of. So now that's empty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna count out the what's that? Ten dollars, two dollars, fifty cents, and two five dollars of all these and then put it all inside my little bucket and dump it all in here at once and let that run through. So after sorting up some coins, I have them all in these two jars and this is the exact change that should fit in each one of these. But also, I do not have any of the paper back inside here, so there might be a possibility that some might spill over when they shouldn't have or they might stay on top. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna turn it on and just dump this entire first cup.
Okay. Now the first cup is dumped. I'm gonna dump in the second one. I'm gonna turn off. So yeah, everything is pretty much real close to the rim here. But now for an extra test, I add an extra one of each. I probably should have done two or three to see if it'll actually topple over and come in the bin. So what I'm gonna do is dump these four in and see if it sorts in here or it goes dropped into the overflow. I'm just gonna dump them in there, hit start. So seemed like only one dumped over. Which is still pretty decent, I'm gonna assume, especially since I do not have the paper in it, that might stop it a bit. So what I'm gonna do is put this back up top and see what it does. Ah. See, that time it sorted it and dumped it back in here, which is still pretty good accuracy, all considering its exact same amount. So now what I'm gonna do is take all four of these out back into my cups, and I'm going to add an extra three of every single coin. So I sorted my coins out again, but instead of adding three, I added an extra five of every single denomination. Now I'm going to hit start and full dump one cup. The weight gets a little lower, then dump the second cup. to have encountered a jam. Oh wait, no, it's back on. Okay, now that is all of it. So now I notice that my pennies here, the pennies here have all doubled up inside and kind of topped over as it's still coming out of the machine actually fell behind. Now the pennies are stuck in the hole in which I can probably not get out. Oh, there we go. Well, that's why I have my flathead screwdriver. So a couple times I've played with this, it jams up on me in certain ways where I cannot get it out, and this is one of those ways. Finally, after a few minutes of playing with it, I got it out, but I also dropped this on the floor for my full 50 count. But anyways, uh, as you've probably seen, probably seen some overflow of the quarter spa, overflow of the nickels, pennies kind of just went everywhere, and there's a little bit of overflow of these dimes. But if you look closely enough, this is pretty much right to the rim, that's to the rim, that's to the rim, which is pretty good. So now I'm going to go inside here and see if I have five of each individual coin to see if it actually overflowed five, except for the pennies, because there's some pennies on the floor. But I'm going to count this up and see if there's actual five of each coin. Okay, the bin's empty, so here we are. Should be five pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, there's seven pennies because it got jammed up, clogged, it fell inside, and there's still coins on the floor. So that's that. Now we're going to do some dimes. We have one, one dime fell out of the overflow. So there is extra four dimes in here. Let's go with nickels. One, two, three, four. Yep, so there's four nickels, so that means there's extra one here, and there's also four quarters, which means there's one there. So I think this is semi pretty good accuracy, especially considering I do not have one of the paper backs in here that would push the extra point out. Just like that, it was so easy. It slid right over the top. 
Okay, so that's all five. So what I'm gonna do now is count up my pennies to 50 one more time, and I'm going to grab the paperbacks and put them in here and see what type of accuracy I can get with having the extra five coins each. So now I'm back here with my two coin jars, and I put an extra five of each individual piece, and I also fill them up with the cardboard paper to see if that affects the count. So there should be exactly the ten dollars and quarters, two nickels, fifty cents, and then two five dollars in dimes when I dump it all. So this one first. should start to overflow now. Same thing with the end of the thing. Oh, also. Alright. So everything is in there. So now, the overflow. I'm going to turn that off. I'll take that off. I'll we'll move that one. That wants to come off easily. Okay. So now, in my little pot, I should have five of every individual coin. So let's see. Okay, here's it all. So we have quarters first. One, two, three, four, and five. So the quarters came out 100%. Now let's do pennies since they're on top. One, two, three, four, and that is all the pennies I have. So there is an extra penny in here, so now there is 51 cents. So the pennies, it's a, it's a loss in my opinion. So we have 100%, I guess 99%, whatever. But we'll do the nickels. One. Nickels are at 100%, and then there is five dimes. So even with everything in there, the cardboard, it still shoots out pretty accurate. We've already run two tests on it so far, and it came out perfect, other than the pennies. But I think the pennies have their own mind of their own. So what I'm going to do now is leave the paper in there, and I'm going to dump all these coins back inside and see the accuracy we have again. So everything's back in here. So I'm going to dump these back and hopefully we'll see the accuracy again. So we had a minor jam at the end of here. So the quarters might not be as accurate, but it seems like everything else seems fairly good. So I'm gonna go back inside the go back inside here and see what numbers we have. We have the quarters getting jammed up. Okay. So we should have five of each. Dimes are on top. One, two, three. Five. Yep, so dimes, 100% once again. I'm gonna do nickels since I see them on top here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so nickels are 100% again. Not nickels. I don't remember the counts. So that's 100%. So now I'm going to do the quarters, which should be off, especially now it's a little bit further inside the plastic rim. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
So two extra quarters jumped out of the quarter slot and it seems like we only have four pennies so that means there's one extra penny in there. So all in all, the corn sorter does its job. If you're just going to deposit them all like here and go straight to the bank, I'm sure the bank won't be mad you missing a few quarters here and there. But if you have to do some accurate counts, I wouldn't say this is the best coin sorter. I would assume if you're going to actually do it professionally, you should get something that's more expensive that can actually count it out and have the numbers digital readout. This is just one that I bought because I had a big shoebox of coins that I wanted to get rid of. So they said the Royal Sovereign FS 500 great buy to have just to go through the mountains of coins that I have stacked here. It's a good buy. It does your job, but your accuracy will not be 100%. But I also, like I said, assume if you take this all to a bank, I'm sure a bank won't be mad that there is an extra penny, there's two less quarters, and there's three extra dimes and nickels. So all in all, Royal Sovereign S, well the FS500, Great value for the buy. Well, until next time, peace.